y'all, it's Erin with Twirling Down Main Street. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not new, then welcome back. We are staying at Lowe's Royal Pacific Hotel at Universal Orlando. And I wanted to give y'all a room tour and a hotel tour. So we'll start with the hotel tour. When you walk in, you'll walk down this long walkway. And it's really nice. There's like water down there. And then you have these little frogs that are playing different instruments. And they're really cute. So then you'll walk in the front door. And then they are scanning temperatures when you come in. So you'll get a wristband that has that day's color. This is the lobby. So you can buy universal tickets right here. I will say if you're buying them with your annual pass discount, you have to buy them at the front gate and not here. And then they have luggage services as well. There are three towers and tower two is right here on the left. Concierge service. And then this is the check-in. I really like these like flowers that they have behind the check-in desk. And then there's seats for you to sit in while you're waiting to check in or just hanging out in the lobby. So this is what the lobby looks like. This is the Tuk Tuk Market. They have various grab and go food items. They do have a little section that has gluten free cookies on their Goody Girl. I think I've had this brand before, but they are also $11, which is at least twice what they are in the grocery store. And coffee, this is where the Starbucks is. Or I don't know if it's actually Starbucks, but they serve Starbucks. Normally there's the Avis Rent-A-Car Center, but that's closed right now due to COVID. This is Tower 3. And this is the Orchid Court Lounge. I'm not entirely sure how to get out there. Oh, here we go. We're gonna go outside. So this is outside. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a pretty cold day, so nobody's hanging out outside. But this view is just really cool. There's orchid flowers all around. So to get down to the pool, you will have to take one of the elevators down to the first story. I always like showing y'all cool elevators. And this one has a huge mirror and it's got like this wood curving around it. It's just really pretty. All right, so we are coming out of the tower three elevators. And you can see there's the pool right there. I'm not sure if anybody's swimming because it's like 60 degrees and quite cold and then this is island's dining room which has a menu posted right here so this looks like their breakfast menu oh and they even list their gluten-free items on the menu right there that's really cool and then this way is a luau and a croquet court so i don't think I'll go down there a little bit. I think this is mostly just like outdoor seating and pool area. Yeah, so this is outdoor seating for this restaurant right here. All right, and everything else is this way. So they do have a game room that's closed right now due to COVID, but that's just like the arcade that they have. And then there's restrooms down here because of the pool. And the Mariners Club is, uh, that's like the kids club and it's closed right now. 
And then past that is Treasures of Bali, which is a shop that looks like it has mostly swim items and some universal items. But it's just a gift shop with swimsuits and there's some other cute things like here's some soap, cute necklaces. Oh, I really like this jewelry holder. It's really pretty. All right. They do have the sweaters and stuff out because it is cold today. And I'll show you some of the pools since nobody's in it. Oh, there are people in it. Oh my, it must be heated. Um, but they have the Royal Bali Sea, um, which looks like a boat. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's a play area or a bar. I'm not totally sure. So next to the Treasures of Bali is the gymnasium, which is a pretty big gym actually. Nobody in there right now. It's open from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, I hear people playing ping pong over there. So this looks like it's part of the convention center. It's closed for a private event right now. And also down this way are water taxis and there's actually a walkway to get to Universal. Right, there's one of the water taxis down there now. And it's just a short boat ride over to City Walk. All right, the rest of this just appears to be part of the convention center. Ballroom, meeting rooms, ballet, and shuttle bus parking. All right, so nothing interesting down there. There is like a plane that they have in the water, um, and there's some of the boats. And you can see just how close we are to Islands of Adventure. You can see Hulk right there and Dr. Doom's Fear Fall. You can also see part of just the very tip of Hogwarts and then part of the new Velocicoaster. This is a really nice view. Okay, so now we are going to jump to back to the lobby. So we're back in the lobby. And right when you come in the front door and go right, there is a gift shop that sells universal merchandise. So this is a smaller gift shop, but it still has some cool stuff. stairs and I think this is how you get to one of the other restaurants yeah so right at the bottom of the stairs is Jake's American bar which is a restaurant so here's some of their menu Oh, it's like airplane themed. Oh, that's so cute. Jake's American Bar. Oh, and this says the millwork and craftsmanship of the Royal Pacific Resort are dedicated to the loving memory of Steve Gluck, artist and friend. That's really cool. So this is also Island's dining room um, from the inside. We saw that outside. Just all the woodwork in here is really cool. Looking up there. It's just 
Springs. It's a really cool themed resort. So first, um, this resort is considered a premier resort with Universal. So you do get express passes, unlimited express passes included. And that's your room key. So you will show your room key when you go up to a red and then you get to go in the express pass line and you don't have to wait um, as much during a regular line. So I think they say that express can like cut your wait in half um, of the posted wait time, but we haven't made it more than like 10 minutes for anything today. So that's been really nice to have and that's included for everybody staying in your room the day you check in and the day you check out and every day in between. So if you're coming for a weekend and you stay Saturday night, you get it for Saturday and Sunday. So oftentimes it's a lot cheaper to do that than to buy express for every single person in your party um, since it's just included with the room. Okay, so we got a roll away and there are linens included. And when you come in here in this closet, a safe, iron, ironing board, luggage holder. And then here is the bathroom. So a nice full length mirror and then another mirror and then a close up mirror. Oh, I think this lights up barely. Two towel racks. That's nice. And then it comes with a hairdryer as well. And then this door is not like an actual um, door on hinges. It's a pocket door. Toilet, a nice shower with a bunch of shower heads. And then this is a room with two queens. These are our friends. Um, <laughs> TV, let's see. Soft closed drawers. These are leather, that's interesting. And then refrigerator, coffee maker with some coffees and cups and an ice holder. A desk with USB outlets and then regular outlets. A lamp. We just got a regular view. We are in tower one, so we have a view of the front area which is nice, so we've got palm trees and such. Another lamp over here, a chair, and then you have more outlets and plugs here. A iHome, oh, that's fancy. It's got a spot for your phone to go. It doesn't work well. It doesn't work well? Oh, never mind. It doesn't fit my phone. It doesn't fit your, is it because of the case? I don't know. Oh, it's it fun. might not fit like iPhone Maxes. <laughs> Nick says it's garbage, but yeah, it's an uh, iHome alarm clock and then your standard phone. So it's a nice room. The walls are really pretty. Yeah. I really hope y'all enjoyed this hotel and room tour. This resort is just absolutely gorgeous and the theming is fantastic. It's really chill here too. Um, like it's just kind of got a chill vibe going. <laughs> But it's also, again, just a boat ride away from Universal, from City Walk, so that's really nice. You can come back to your room um, in the afternoon if you need a break, and then go back out for the night, and you're just a boat ride or a walkway if you want to walk um, away. And then also with Express Pass included, that's just really nice, and there's a really nice perk that this resort offers. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Wear your masks, wash your hands, be safe, and we'll see you later.